The 15th seed, the only sender. It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hey, everybody. Greetings, everyone. 2K Sports brings you the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Brent Berry and Greg Anthony. We've got David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Home court advantage goes to... And before we get going, let's hear from... Well, Kevin, Clay Thompson continues to be happy with his role in the Warriors. He said winning is so much fun. It's one thing to put up numbers, and it's another to sacrifice and be on the best team in the NBA. I'll take the latter every time. At the end of the day, people are going to remember. Thanks, David. That's the mindset you have to have. In the end, winning titles should be the ultimate goal. A marquee matchup tonight. Two great centers going head-to-head. -head. Brent, talk about the attributes scouts are looking for out of modern-day centers. I think one of the things that they look for first with regards to a big man, Kevin, is a guy who doesn't shy away from contact. I know the game is moving with a little more open pace and space, but still, your big guy's got to want to be physical because there are times in the game, whether he's touching it in the post or not, he's got to be a presence both offensively and defensively. Defensively, that requires taking a few hits. And with the ability to pass, and you know, the guys like Bogut, even in an advanced age, can still, I think, make a difference in that position. Yeah, but if you look at guys like Bogut and Steven Adams, they're still willing to sacrifice their body, not for the glory of having the ball, but everything they can do for getting the ball into open space for their guards. That means hitting a guy, setting hard screens. That physicality has got to be priority one. And now the Golden State Warriors starters. The sharpshooters Curry and Thompson are at the one and the two. It's small ball with Igudala and Green down low. And it's Durant in at small forward. That free throw, no good. And Draymond Green was asked if he would be a different player, Brent, if he wasn't so vocal. His response was that he absolutely would. Well, he's 100% right. I played with Gary Payton in Seattle, and if he wasn't yapping, uh, he wasn't playing as well. I would say that Draymond Green falls in that sort of category. He brings an edge. He brings an intensity, and, and that helps the other guys on the team settle into the roles that they feel most comfortable with. They set the screen. Excellent use of the screen that time. Harden's got six. And with Harden, it's pick your poison. Not only a tenacious penetrator, but also a consistent threat from three-point. Durant dishes to Curry. Some nice passing by Golden Stadium. Five on the clock from deep. Igudawa. The shot comes out, so Houston will take it the other way. Ariza kicks to Paul. Over Curry. Makes a big high pounce and goes in. Paul's got his first two points. Chris Paul never losing focus throughout the course of a game. Even with the D draped on him, he gets the job done. The drive by Thompson. 
Let's it go from 11, and the basket is good. This is the kind of guy that you wake up in a cold sweat the night before you play him. Just a matchup nightmare. Tricky, confident, and he takes on all comers. Capella, the pass to Harden. Capella sets a screen for Harden. Ariza kicks it to Tuck over Thompson. Here's Capella and the dunk by Capella. And guys, isn't it great to see a player who, who works that hard on the glass at both ends? Well said, G. That's the way he has built, you know, his reputation. Grinding away 100% effort all the time. And then uses his explosiveness once he's gathered the rebound to throw it down. A shot by Harden, wide open. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. That's a shot you gotta step up on wide open, no coverage. Good shooters don't miss that often. The 11-footer hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. And Brent, something you have to praise Kerr for last season. He did an excellent job of bringing all that talent together and getting them on the same page. Not very easy with star players and big names. Well, he had to tinker with the rotation a little bit, and then he had to also make sure that guys had confidence in their ability, and Steve was able to do that. The interesting part about all of that, Kevin, is that there were a lot of games that Steve was not there for. And for that kind of leadership, that kind of message, to be sustained in the absence of your head coach, that should tell you all you need to know about just how solid the ground is for the Golden State Warriors. Ariza kicks to Paul. And again, it's the Rocks from deep. Yeah, great outside shooting, really fueling this run. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And they've let things get out of hand. Good time to reconvene. And they're just on the wrong end right now of a big run, and they need to plan how they're going to shift the momentum of the game. And one thing that is quite clear with the Rockets in terms of their approach is their shot selection. They prefer easy layups or threes. Very rarely will you see them play that in-between game. checked in and Golden State also making a change JaVale McGee's checked in for Andre Iguodala and that shot selection a systematic approach by the whole Houston organization Greg is a team they actually took less mid-range jump shots than DeMar DeRozan did individually last season yeah and it wasn't even close I mean the approach Houston has made successful the last few seasons that, that they are 100 percent committed to not taking mid-range shots if, if they can help it Harden outside beyond the arc Capella he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points and you can't help but pick their defense apart they're completely in disarray the dish to McGee outside green and again no good by Golden State here's Houston now they're on an 18 to 5 run in the corner Harden and sticking right with it gets the foul with the bucket and he'll go to the line oh this is the kind of start they were hoping for well across the board last season James Harden Greg saw his numbers jump through the roof but he showed improvement both in his defensive engagement as well as his rebounding not something that a lot of us saw coming yeah, that's a good point and with Harden I think the rebounding is the really surprising number went from being an average rebounding guard to a great one the What's last up? few seasons he's been showing more of a dedication to all aspects of the game remember back in 2012 James Harden was the sixth man of the year now he's every bit the franchise player Curry dishes to Thompson it's nine seconds separate in the shot clock and game clock. back to Curry over Gordon they get the rebound Green the pass to Durant. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. 
If you're waiting for him to miss when he's that open, you're going to be in for a long wait. Outside Gordon. Capella with a screen on Green. Near the three-point line, it's Gordon. I just keep watching Draymond Green and keep being impressed by what he does defensively out there. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Rockets lead by 14. The second quarter coming up right after this break, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> 